guys, I sure would and I'm back here. Um yeah, this is kinda of just an update video, basically. And um yeah, first of all for people who don't know probably already know, um yeah, I have cancer so that's why I have like no hair. <laughs> Yeah, so I haven't done an update video in like ages because I was kind of afraid I'd freak you guys out. So, and anyway, like you probably noticed from my videos and stuff, like, and then I've had to have my leg amputated. So, yeah, you guys are probably like, what are you laughing at? It's not funny. But anyway, um, yeah, so it's just kind of weird. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, I, because of the cancer, I've had to have my leg amputated, but, like, it's basically gone, I'm just getting chemo now to make sure it's all gone, and, yeah, so, I'm back horse riding anyway, <laughs> with my prosthetic leg and stuff, so, um, yeah, <laughs> and, um, so, uh, I'm going to the Ultra Horse Hullabaloo this year, and yeah, I'm going on the Sunday. Um, I probably would have wanted to go all three days, but it's kind of like too expensive, and my parents are paying for it as well, so I didn't really want to ask them, like, can I go all three days? So, um... Yeah, and then the thing I kind of wanted to do the most was the showing, but, like, two of them were, like, all sold out. So I'm just doing, like, the beginner, uh, like, introduction slash tutorial thing on Sunday for the live showing. So, yeah. Um, yeah, and then I think I'm going to be bringing Black Caviar, uh, It's Just a Dream and Ravel for showing in that so yeah I'm pretty excited for that and then I'm going to be staying with my auntie who lives in Colchester like it's about I think an hour away from uh, the Hullabaloo but she lives like just down the road from where the actual shop is so yeah uh, we're going to stay with her for few days we're going on a thurs on the Thursday and then coming back on the Monday and then I'm going on Sunday to the hullabaloo and um yeah I'm using my iPad for filming so um I don't know how long this video can go on for but anyway um what else eh, there's Instagram stuff that's coming up now um yeah, so I live in Ireland, so I'm going to get a plane over. Um, it's ju It was just cheaper to go get a plane over instead of going by the ferry or anything. So, Or getting the ferry and then the train, So, and it's quicker as well. Uh, yeah, you just have to hang around the airport and stuff, but still, it's kind of quicker. And anyway, I like planes. <laughs> well kind of, I used to when I was younger, but now I'm kind of like half afraid of them because, you know, all the stuff that can happen and when you're a kid you don't really think about it, so, uh, yeah, sorry, my nose is really annoying, oh, I don't have any tissues, um, what else is there, yeah, so I'm kind of just getting chemo at the moment, and I'm kind of preparing for the hullabaloo, like making tack and stuff for the English performance. Stuff like that. And, yeah, sorry. I was just wondering for you expert riders, um, I don't know if you look at my last video, like with my prosthetic leg, I'm having this problem where uh, it's like... Because I can't really control the end of my leg, um, because the knee just bends and it's kind of flopping itself, so, um, I can't keep the stirrup at my toes and then it goes into where the heel is and then it starts pinching the top of my leg, so the instructor that I had today was saying if I got, like, Velcro, 
um, like stirrups, you know, like had Velcro on the ends of them and then you had it on your boot. He was saying that it would probably help, but I don't know where to get those or anything else I could use to help that. Um, in one of my lessons, I tried, the instructor tied a bit of string, like from the stirrup to the girth. And then it was grand for that because it kept it at its at the toes and stuff. So like I need something like that to help it. I know people were saying, I I was just looking on the internet like there a few minutes ago, and it, you can get these Velcro straps for doing the same thing, but for tying the strip to the girth. But like I don't know if that's really safe or anything. Because some people are saying it doesn't seem like it's uh, weak enough to break away if you fell off or something. So, yeah, if any of you know anything about that. And, yeah, before you go on, yeah, I do have a wig. I have two there, actually. Um, yeah, I'm just not wearing it because I'm kind of, like, in my pyjamas. And I'm, like, kind of going to bed soon, so be bothered to put on <laughs> and yeah I'm just eating my chocolate here um yeah it was kind of this video is basically just saying for the orderly horse for the blue and yeah so thanks for watching and um yeah, message me if you want to meet me at the Hullabaloo or whatever. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.